two. He's not going to clear him. He won't be able to do that in turn three. Getting up to speed. Everyone going down the back stretch. Colin Brown able to hold on to that second spot. Now teammates side by side. That's James Busher on the outside of Rick Crawford. Here's two and three wide just behind him coming out of four. Oh, oh, Taylor Malson was Malson. completely sideways and spinning through the grass. And back out onto the racetrack in front of a few trucks. Oh, One Skinner gets blows. clobbered. Skinner gets hit hard down into turn one. On his side is Mike Skinner back on the wheels now. He got hit very hard. He was, uh, he, I'm okay. he got turned around after Malsom spun off four. I just happened to be watching it. He was sliding backwards, went up in the middle of the racetrack and got clobbered from behind. But we heard him say he's all right. Yeah, that That's, was great news. Yeah. And that was Mike Skinner himself saying, I'm all right. Adam Alexander. He came on the radio, criticized another driver on the track, and you could hear the tone in his voice. He was okay, but the fierce competitor in him was coming out. And after a wild crash like that, you tip the cap to NASCAR for their safety and how well these trucks are made. And I tell you what, while it's tough on paper to see the point leader have a crazy crash like that, the good news is he's going to walk away. Amazing. Man. And, and race again in our next race at they're Dover. Looking, they're looking for a, a little bit disappointed, I'm sure, after coming off the Kansas race with a win, taking over the points lead. And now his night will end early as the red flag has come out here as they will have to clean up this racetrack. We saw Taylor Malsom get sideways just as they were going by our speed camera right on the, the entrance to the trioval. And Skinner was ahead of that. Mm -hmm. And someone must have hit him from behind because when I looked up, he was backwards in the middle of the front straightaway and the thing went straight back up in front of traffic. And uh, it may have had nothing to do with Taylor Malsom incident. Yeah. Well, it could have been that Skinner had slowed down. Let's take another look. The caution lights are going to come on, I believe, when Taylor Malsom gets sideways. There's Skinner up ahead. Down See him on, on the, the inside on the of the 13 of Johnny Sauter. Oh, Sauter oh. pinches him a little bit low. Pinches him into the grass. Now watch, watch There's this. There's a white now. truck that clobbers and Watch this. Right there. Very hard hit. Got completely underneath that five. Hard, hard hit. That, is that T.J. Bell I believe in the 11 truck? I believe it is. Take another look. There, Skinner was in the grass. Now you see the caution light come on. See the roof flap goes up and then T.J. Bell. Oh, wow. He had no idea. T.J. Bell had no idea that five was coming up the racetrack. No, he couldn't. He couldn't. Have, even if he had it, yeah. there wasn't anywhere he could have went. Nothing he could have done. This is real time. The five truck on the inside. Skinner gets sideways. Just jumps around with him. You can see he's got his wheels cut to the right trying to save it from that. From it spinning and he never got him turned back to the left. And when it got straightened up, you know, it didn't have any any way else to go except for into that outside wall. A this hard is hit by Mike Skinner into the wall, and it was so comforting to hear him say, I'm okay. See, Johnny Sauter had Matt Crafton above him. He, look, moved, he moved down to give Matt a little bit more room and then squeezed Mike Skinner down into the grass. I just can't. I'm just so happy Mike's okay. Did, look at that. That's yeah. terrible. That's an unbelievable accident. I tell you what, that shot we just saw, there was a cameraman right next to the catch fence when Skinner got up into it. Look at all this camera work the speed crew's doing. I mean, these shots are incredible. Watch this impact. Look how close the cameraman has this five truck zeroed in. And look at T.J. Bell. Wham. Wow, that is incredible. Great camera work to capture yeah. that look action. At, look at all the debris flying everywhere. A spring bouncing across down the racetrack on the outside. What an unbelievable ride Mike Skinner just had. Every now and then you're, you know, as a race car driver, you're in a wreck and you just say uh, it was unavoidable. And I don't think T.J. Bell had a prayer. No. It happened so fast. I don't think he had a prayer of making any call. Look at T.J. just ahead there in that white truck. Ironically, T.J. made contact come on, come with Taylor on, Malson to start that incident. Easy, easy, easy. Can't help you a lot there. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down. Come on back up. Come on up. Good job, buddy. Real good. That was the 